Mic check, mic check. Ubaha, Ubaha, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be starting the show in just a couple of minutes. Anybody up on the patio? We can see you from here if you want to still come down to the stage. There are plenty of seats. Buď laska, prosimo do scene. Počinajemo našu vestavu. Tilki za paru hvilin. Děkuji vám.
Sanonyi Hosti, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to take your seats because we're once again back here at the wonderful Soyuzilka, and I don't want to take any more of your time. My name's Andriy Dobriansky. I know you're all here to see one wonderful group of dancers, and that is the Ukrainian Dance Workshop with their seminal, historic, iconic Pridit. Ladies and gentlemen, Vashiopliski.
Ще раз ваші оплески українській танцювальній інтенсив воркшоп імені Роми Прима Богочевської. Thank you all for coming. That was the wonderful Ukrainian dance workshop. We are going to see a lot of them tonight. My name is Andriy Dobryansky. Slava Isusu Christu. Slava Ukraini. And Slava Bohu Vishriya Ukrainsim, tak? Slava Bohu. We're all gathered here today. It's going to be a wonderful weekend, I'm sure. Even the weather said, no, no, we're going to have a nice time tonight. I know the, the wonderful guests of ours at the gala tonight, they're enjoying themselves. We're going to have a good old time here because we're not just seeing a good concert tonight. We're also going to go and hang up at the Tiki Bar afterwards. I know there's a little bit, but bit of music afterwards up on the patio. It's a long night. We are not just here to do one little dance and go away. So I'm glad to see you all. I'm very glad to be back here again. My wonderful counterpart, Lida, will be back with me tomorrow night. And you know, if you've seen the schedule up at the main house, you see how many things. There's not a break for us tomorrow. We're going to be here from the very beginning of the day. You're going to have the, 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 the events on the patio. You're going to have the show on the patio. There's the accordion fest up on the patio. We're going to have our color guard, our wonderful Ukrainian-American veterans come out tomorrow night. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. So once again, I'm really glad that you've come here. And I'm really glad that we have the Ukrainian Dance Workshop back. You know, I was just in the deal. <laughs> I was just in the deal uh, three weeks ago. I don't know, honey, when, when was it? Four weeks ago. <laughs> um, and I'm sitting down for an interview with Pershi Zakhivny, and they do start doing one of their uh, uh, Histories in Time, Slauni Lividiane. I'm looking at the story of Roma Prima Bohochevska. Uh, because uh, here at Soyuz Yuka, one of the wonderful things about uh, coming back here year after year is seeing the incredible dance workshop and the legacy of that dance workshop. And when I say legacy, it's not just the Perliny, these wonderful stars of our diaspora who have been recognized by Ukraina time and again now, but we are approaching a very historic milestone in just a few years. A few years, imagine, 100 years of Roma Prima Bohochevska. Isn't that going to be something exciting? Yes! Yes. And I know you're all going to be here for that historic workshop when we're back here for that as well and in the years intervening. Uh, workshop is being run as it always is by uh, Pani Roma's wonderful daughter, Anya Bohochevska Lonkevich, and the wonderful artistic co-artistic director, Orlando Pagan. We have a wonderful bunch of dancers. I believe I saw on the list not just states that I know, uh, but then I look and I see dancers from Arkansas. I see, danc <laughs> I see dancers coming from as far away as California, and I can hear you in the audience, oh, Reggie. Uh, as well as our, our state and pride and true, because really uh, what the Ukrainian Dance Workshop does for us here at Suizuka and for the Ukrainian community, it allows wonderful, wonderful trained dancers to go back to their uh, own dance groups as well as Sizukrili and this wonderful symbiotic relationship. What do I mean by symbiotic relationship? Well, you would come to the workshop and Roma Prima would have a wonderful dancer from Arkansas. And that dancer would do backflips. And then you would come to Sizukrili and she would say, why don't you do backflips? And I would say, I don't do backflips, Pani Romo. But we do what we can. Uh, we do have some wonderful singers tonight as well. Uh, uh, some wonderful musicians. This won't be uh, that long a night in terms of on stage. I know tomorrow you're going to be used. You're going to come here early. 5:45 is the uh, color guard, and we're going to want to make sure that you're here early for that show because we do have some wonderful stars. Not only uh, the giant show, but we ha also have a special after show. I'm sure you heard about a special performance tomorrow. Who is that performing tomorrow? <laughs> yes, I thought it was. See, there was a mistake. Um, one of the buildings doesn't have a roof. Dacha Brakuya. And for some reason, for some reason, it came out in the community that Dacha Brak is performing. So we're going to do what we can to get them over here. In the meantime, I do have a couple of more dances coming up. Uh, this year, if you haven't seen um, uh, events at Suizuka throughout the summer, uh, throughout the spring, you'll notice that there's a big hurtful revival happening here, the hurtful nights that are happening, uh, the music that we have playing all over Suizuka, and tonight and tomorrow night, you will see the Ukrainian Dance Workshop really do something in terms of honoring that with a lot of their historic and iconic, in my mind, hurtful dances, the first of which will be a wonderful couples rap that will be coming up very shortly. Uh, as I mentioned, Suizuka not only has wonderful events throughout this entire weekend, but who was here for the beer, pa uh, beer pairing? That was uh, just in July. Anybody came here? It was a wonderful event organized by Suizuka. We have a bunch of events coming up throughout the summer. Not only Labor Day, 
Some of us may be used to coming here for, um, for the festival and for Labor Day, but this year I want to remind everybody that after that pandemic that kept me and, and Lida on the Zoom with you guys uh, during, uh, during our lockdown and we came back here, this will be, be the summer of the return of Mystery Eureka. So I want everybody to mark their calendars for the beginning first weekend of August for the return of Mystery Eureka. You know what an honor that is. We've had Mystery Eureka throughout the decade, throughout the decade. And that's a big honor for anybody who gets that scholarship uh, going forward. But it's a big honor in terms of the legacy of all those wonderful people. Some of those Mystery Eureka have gone on to become uh, people that the people don't even remember uh, when they become the heads of our credit unions or they're, they're uh, running some of our organizations, that these people, they started out maybe as workers at Mystery Eureka, maybe they were just a, uh, had an account with UNA and that's why their parents put them in for Mystery Eureka. And it's a cherished tradition. I want everybody to mark their calendars for the weekend of August 5th and 6th. We will crown Mystery Eureka August 5th and then we will have Mystery Eureka come on Sunday night for a wonderful Zabava on August 6th. So mark, the, mark your calendars for that. We have a whole bunch of events. Don't forget the wonderful uh, volleyball tournament we have on Sunday, as well as all the other events this weekend. But I'm not going to keep myself going too long. Yuchata, I'm looking at them, and we have two-thirds. Two-thirds. <laughs> two-thirds. So I'll, I'll, I'll move on to the other wonderful stuff that we... The other wonderful stuff that we've mentioned throughout the, uh, uh, that we're going to keep mentioning this weekend. First of all, Suizuka obviously is back. What we want to do is make sure we fill it out throughout the year. So if you haven't checked the wonderful website, I, I know it was down for a couple of weeks in the, in the spring as we uh, restarted all the events here for the summer. The website does have events on its calendar now. You can already look which weekend you're going to set up for Halloween, which weekend you're going to set up for the traditional uh, Thanksgiving Day meal here. Make sure you bookmark suizuka.com. Bookmark suizuka.com and you'll make sure that you see those events on that website before you even see it on Facebook and Instagram. Speaking of social media, uh, suizuka and all of our artists are all, we make sure, are all on Instagram and or Facebook. So if you see an artist tonight, some of my favorites, Christina uh, Gadosniak, Inessa Tomosko de Kailo, the Corinia band, any of them, Make sure if you if you really like their music nowadays nowadays even more so than just buying the CDs you want to make sure that you like their videos online the more you like them the more people will see them across the world and that's how you can see uh, Suzukili dancers being multiplied different websites uploading their videos as well of all these wonderful dancers from Ukrainian dance workshops this kind of stuff so long as you guys make sure that you like it first you like it and share it the entire world's going to see it. I'm looking over there at our wonderful friends, and we're down to two more dancers. Two more dancers. Um, so in that time, in that time, I'm going to go through the two other things that you need to know. Uh, first of all, Father Kostak, I don't see him here tonight, but I do know that we have started a wonderful, or returning to the tradition of the wonderful children's camp that happens every fall here. So Tia Patricia has a wonderful camp. If there are any people who are in the area who are interested in that, obviously you've read all of Father Kostak's book, or is it just me? Uh, but Father Kostak has just such a wonderful uh, uh, library of knowledge within his, uh, within his own head about Ukrainian church. It's great to have uh, our, that passed on to our youth. I know our church in, in uh, New York just finished a wonderful camp um, uh, for St. George Youth uh, the end of June, and then the monks in Glen Cove, they had their camp for the first time in Glen Cove for youth, first time in almost 20 years, actually. And now, don't forget, it happens everywhere. It, you could be back in your hometown, or you could be, uh <laughs> or you could be, um, or you could be here at Suizuka, and you can sign up for a wonderful uh, religious camp. So, with that in mind, I want to see some of our dancers get ready, uh, and I have you all Welcome them to the stage. This next dance is again, as we've seen to the beat. Who has seen uh, Rapsodia in the past? Any who has danced Rapsodia? Of course, it's on. <laughs> um, it is known for the gyrating of the hips, but not as much. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is a wonderful couples rhapsody choreographed by Roma Prima Bolichevska. It has been performed on this stage. It has been performed in opera houses all over the world. It is always uh, a show stealer so uh, this this particular year again we have a lot of new students to Ukrainian dance workshop so to have them give them the opportunity to not only learn something that has been performed throughout the world as I said whether it's been opera houses across the United States Europe and Ukraine but 
here at the ukrainian band four stop here at syria view you may have seen it throughout the years and tonight we have the opportunity to welcome back the ukrainian band four stop with
Vasiliopoulos gets that out of the Ukrainian Dance Workshop with Ukrainian Rhapsody. Znovu prihodaju vam, to bolo istorijski časi, koli Roma Prijema vzjala isnju hurtu do Ukrajine and really looking at a piece of that, you can you imagine what the reaction was when you hear you're in Ukraine, independence has come and you hear a bunch of dancers are coming from the United States and you don't know what's going to happen on stage, but something like that, something like that was really something special, uh, really something that people remembered before social media, before YouTube. Uh, this, that was the kind of dance that really stuck in people's minds when they saw it throughout Ukraine, throughout Europe, and wherever it was performed in the United States. We we're very grateful that Seizuka is the home of the Ukrainian Dance Workshop, and we can continue passing it along from generation to generation, and not just to former dancers who I saw more than wiggling their butts in the seats. So it was wonderful, wonderful to see everybody uh, experience uh, that for the first time if you haven't seen that before. We do have some singing now. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen our next performer, uh, I think my favorite thing of watching Christina is when she starts doing Instagram Live somewhere at 12 at 12 midnight or something, and I get an alert, and I'm like, what's happening? And she's whipping out a song. She's belting it and doing doing uh, Lord knows what. So again, if you don't follow any of, any of our artists, try to follow uh, Christina Yadusniak, Corinna, uh, Inessa on social media, and of course, uh, Seizuka and the Ukrainian Dance Workshop. Uh, you will get a lot more bang for your buck, and you'll be able to share this with other people throughout the world. For those of you who, again, who haven't heard uh, Christina, and I doubt some of you haven't, but Christina is a wonderful singer. Uh, she was born in Yonkers, but she has performed all over the United States as well in Ukraine. She is also the prize winner uh, of awards in Ukraine for her singing, and since the beginning of the full-fledged aggression, she has dedicated so much time raising tens of thousands of dollars with her singing at different concerts. So we're really grateful uh, to all the work that Christina does. Christina somehow finds time. Uh, she sent me this biography that says she, su she studies neuroscience and music as a double major. Who does that? But with no further ado, I'm going to welcome to the stage our next performer, Christina Yadosniak. Почати свій виступ сьогоднішнього вечора я хочу із моєї авторської пісні, яку я написала минулого року, коли розпочалася велика масштабна війна, яка принесла нам багато сліз, переживань, розбила наші сім'ї. Ця пісня присвячується усім нам, усім, хто молиться, усім, хто прикладає зусилля, щоб приблизити нас до перемоги. Тож моя авторська пісня – Під назвою Боже, я молю тебе для вас. Yeah. 
Дякую. А зараз я зараз хочу висунути ще одну авторську пісню, якою буде найближчим часом випускати на всіх музичних платформах, зокрема таких як YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. Ця пісня називається Скажи чому. And for those of you who don't understand Ukrainian, the first song just heard was an original as well as the one you're about to hear. I will be releasing these songs by the end of summer, hopefully, <laughs> and you'll be able to hear them on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music.
Ale zaraz to się przyniosło do drugi domu Hiszczą, Hurtu Okean Elsy i Mostega Wina. Kiedy pełni się pieśni, to jest zostanie tylko moja piosenka Zatra, Isza Pałała.
Дякую, ми Христина, дякую. Don't forget to follow Christina on social media. She'll be back with us tomorrow, but don't forget she has those albums coming out at the end of the summer. I would really love to hear those. I'm sure you would, but also the more you like them on social media, Instagram, follow her today, the more other people will discover her. So, uh, and discover all of our other acts. It was a great song to transition into our next dance, the Ukrainian Dance Workshop I see already. Uh, obviously, I mentioned that Christina is not only a talented musician, but a neuroscientist, and of course, what will be called neuroscience in the 1800s, Borozhinya is our next song. Uh, so we're going back to the traditions that we, this will be actually uh, an interesting year. This is the last July that we're going to have Kupala in July. We're all switching over to the calendar, right? All over Ukraina, it will be Kupala in June. But don't forget that we have all those uh, celebratory evenings throughout our, uh, throughout our year. We have Ivana Kupala, we have Andriyevsky Vesha, I always have to stand up for Pervervanoho. But we have all that divination that happens throughout the years. And uh, I personally haven't seen uh, Virginia dance in a number of years here uh, while I was an MC. But it is a dance that really harkens back to some of those wonderful traditions and really gives some of those wonderful dancers, again, some of them dancing for the first time at Ukrainian Dance Workshop, a wonderful opportunity to dance something that's really inspiring, full of joy. So without further ado, our ladies dancing from the Ukrainian Dance Workshop, Vorozhenya.
Right, we are pleased to the Lenasia Futsalat. A wonderful Borodinia, wonderful dance. And again, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the show, some of these dancers are coming from very far away, some of them coming from nearby, but some of them are coming for the very first time. And you are privy to their graduation ceremony. It'll be the entire weekend. It'll be a lot of fun. But for many of them, this has been a dream since they were tiny campers. And again, uh, for those of you who don't have the schedule, it's on Tijuca.com. The sports camps that come up, the dance camps that come up. And when you're going through that training as a dance camper, one day you dream of coming on the stage with the little girls and dancing finally as a woman ready to burst in with those wreath for Vorozhinya tomorrow, tomorrow night, we're gonna have a men's dance. So we're gonna have both uh, Vorozhinya and a men's dance to fill out the hotel suite for us. It'll be an entirely magical evening. And I want to once again remind everybody to show up before six o'clock because at 545, our wonderful friends from the Ukrainian American veterans will be with us uh, on the stage for our color guard, our national anthems, and our moment of silence. So please come a little before six o'clock. Come no later than 545 for our main stage show. Right now, I'd like to ask to the stage, which is wonderful, it's really loud. Um, that must mean that we're having something magical come on stage. And for those of you who haven't, and I, how can you not have heard the wonderful musical stylings of our next performer, Afani Inessa Tomotko Tokailo has performed all over the world. Not only, not only is she an honored graduate of the Lvivska Derzalna Conservatoria, uh, but she has put out four different albums. I know I like to listen to them on the road. Uh, it's not just her music, it's not just the fact that she has played all over the world, uh, played in religious houses and opera houses, but today she is one of the most sought after teachers here in the United States, especially in New York. She is a marvelous instructor doing incredible work, passing along that Ukrainian tradition. Remember, graduate from the Vizca Conservatoria, that's the tradition that we're passing on to our children, uh, going on further. And after the first number, you will hear another Dekaila come on stage and join uh, Inessa, that would be her son, Ihor. Ihor, who is not only a, a gifted musician, but has been concertmaster of his school's uh, uh, orchestra for a number of years. So it's a wonderful double dose for you. But first, welcoming to the stage, Fanny Inessa Temochko de Kailo.
Ваши оплески. Не только пани Инесса Тимочко отдыхала, а так само Игорь, так само классная музыка, классные варианты и классные украинцы. Very much and grateful for all of you for being here tonight. Very much grateful for Suizuka to give us the opportunity to have Inessa not just come out and play, but make sure that people know that uh, Ihor is out there and he can play as well. This is what Suzuka has always been about. Uh, so we come back not only year after year, we don't just drop our children off uh, for their heritage camp, we don't just bring them over for sports and dancing, but we come back year after year, not only for great nights like this, but I know you're gonna be back for August 5th and 6th when Miss Suzuka comes back. We also have a wonderful timing this year with Ukrainian Independence Day. This year it falls on a Friday, so Suizuka is actually going to have a wonderful night. If you can plan for that, August 24th here at Suizuka, maybe some fireworks, I can't guarantee it. But August 24th, celebrating Ukrainian independence, and that goes right into the next week with uh, Labor Day weekend, September 1st. It's a wonderful packed summer. Don't forget to keep on looking at Suizuka.com or follow them on Facebook for any updates coming up. I know they also have a very active mailing list to sign up on their email list as well. We have uh, some dancers getting ready, I know, for the next dance. Um, so before anything weird happens with the weather, uh, we're going to move on to complete uh, the rest of the Hutzel Suite dances that we've seen tonight. We saw earlier uh, the wonderful uh, Vorozhenya. We saw uh, the uh, magical and romantic Ukrainian Rhapsody. Uh, but uh, we have one more dance in the Hutzel Suite tonight. We'll have an additional one tomorrow night. And as you've seen throughout Suzuka, you've seen the wonderful events that we have, uh, the different tastings, the different menu options. It's been a Hutzel revival all summer, all year at, at Suzuka, and it's the Hutzel revival at Ukrainian Dance Workshop. And so I'd like to welcome once more to the stage with your applause, Ukrainian Dance Workshops performing Nashi Lehendarni Hutzule, Ukrainian Hutzel Legends!
Ladies and gentlemen, Vashi Yoplaskecheras, the Lehendarnami Nashi Hutsulami. I think there's something special at Suizuka, whether it's your child at camp and you learn how to make a vatra for the first time, uh, you're having a lunch in a wood panel dining room, you see the different traditions. This is what it's all about. It's not just coming out and uh, putting on a wool vest in the middle of the summer for no reason. It's about passing along those traditions and wonderful as they are. We have uh, covered a bunch of them tonight, uh, whether that's uh, a div a divination, uh, we've had uh, the charm of romance and rhapsody, but we are gonna move over as I speak and people d dilly around around me. We're gonna move over into uh, some of our most wonderful performers here. And I can't believe it when they send in their biography and it says that they've been doing this since, since 2005. That's impossible, that's impossible. Uh, it just seems like the other day, but no, true enough, there are four albums out there, uh, two full length, I believe, uh, many albums, but you've also seen uh, Corinna perform at festivals around the country, around the world. Uh, the music has been heard everywhere. They've been performing with some of uh, celebrity people as well that you might see tomorrow night as well. Um, but the thing about Corinna is, as I mentioned, uh, if you're a child and you get to go to Suizuka for a camp, you get enchanted with that Vatra, you get enchanted with, there's something spiritual here, whether it's divination or dancing, and these, uh, these melodies and these voices and these traditions that Corinna keeps up is really where it comes from. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna hand the microphone over to a very talented sound technician, and we are all gonna give it up for Corinna.
over in Poland in Kazimierz, which is the name of, uh, I think it's the neighborhood in Warsaw. Um, and that last one was actually our newest song. Y'all got to hear it the first time ever. So that was our new Kupalo Paolo mashup. And I think we got one more for you. This is one of our favorites. This is what we like to call something. I forget the name. some, thank you. Hopsi-li-li-li, Marichko ljubljo tja. Hopsi-li-li-li, Marichko ljubljo tja. Bim tja drugi ne ljubili. Hopsi-li-li-li, Bo paruvaj ljutja. Bim tja drugi ne ljubili. Hopsi-li-li, Bo porubaju 
Yeah, that's right. You don't need to go to the pool. You can just stay right here and be refreshed by nature itself. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, that was a wonderful performance, again, by Corinna. For those of you who haven't uh, been at Suzuka's festivals that have been going on for so long here, Corinna has been there for so many years, since 2005. And again, their records are available. There's four of them available that you can purchase for digital online. And don't forget to like and share them online. They have a very active uh, website. They have a very active social media presence. Like them and more people will see them. They have not only been performing here, they've performed all over the world much as with our next performers. We have one more mu musical act, and then we will wrap up with our dancing tonight. Our next musical act is another uh, award-winning duo. Uh, this, this duo uh, combined for a project back in 2019. Uh, 2019, working on a CD that's available tonight. So if you like the music, please reach out to uh, either of the performers tonight uh, for the Songs of the Heart project uh, that they recorded in 2019. Uh, and uh, without further ado, they'll be coming out here and setting up with the, with the rest of the uh, sound technicians. We have on guitar, uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> we have on, oy, we have on guitar Roman Karpichik, uh, Karpiska, Vibachaite. I was just asking, uh, Roman Karpiska, uh, he has not only done a lot of contemporary music, uh, uh, working with contemporary artists, but uh, his, uh, his artistry with the Ukrainian folk tunes, Ukrainian melodies, uh, really combined with Irina's voice for an uh, amazing, uh, amazing duo. If you haven't heard the CD, and again, the CD is available tonight. Just come up to Roman afterwards. And also, joining Roman will be Irina Petrik. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen her, and uh, surely you've seen her up here in New York State, whether at the Sar Saratoga Opera, uh, performing up in Syracuse, but she has actually began her musical introduction back in Ukraine, a singing and acting, uh, graduating with honors in Ukraine and moving on to conservatories in the United States. It's this kind of wonderful magic, this kind of wonderful magic that Suizuka is for, a Ukrainian stage for a wonderful du duo. Let's bring a big hand for Roman and Irina. Лякайтеся дощу. Давайте ще разом заспіваємо. Yeah, we 
Sri Riki i bez chyby i wibrowy i szlachy my nie pokażą We're having some issues with the tech, with the uh, mics right now and the speakers. We're going to just ask to get off the stage for a second. Okay, no problem. Reset the system. So everybody, hold on for a second. Uh, if you can go into the tent for a bit, the, the monitors are kicking back. So. But we're just going to deal with the music situation for a little bit. Thank you for holding on with the... Uh, oh, wow. Thank you for holding on with the umbrellas. We do have some we do have some towels ready for the dancers to make sure we can go on, but we don't know what's gonna happen, so it's it's all incumbent on how faithful you've been all year. There's a chapel right down the road. You guys do what you need to do. And again, we're gonna we're gonna ooh, I saw a lightning clip. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be careful with the <laughs> we're gonna be careful.
right, how are we doing there, boys? Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the rain has passed us for the moment, so the prayers have been answered. Uh, as we get the speakers uncovered, uh, the dancers are doing double duty by doing all the stage work for us. We really much thank all the dancers and the assistants who went up there to clean it up for us. We thank uh, the patience of Romani and Irena for being able, uh, I think Irena was telling me about a story that um, Montreal was way wetter, so we are, we're <laughs> definitely better than that. And I also want to thank our wonderful sound crew that came out so quickly, covered everything up. We do have a big show all weekend, so we want to make sure the equipment's okay. So without further ado, Roman, Ireno. So as I was saying, guys, <laughs> А я думаю, що майже всі знають цю пісню, то будь ласка, я бачу, якщо ви залишилися, то це значить, що ви є дуже сильні і дуже dedicated. So please feel free to sing along. I would love for you to do that. Oh, 
Lord Yaakov Sim. <laughs> and the last song we will sing tonight uh, will be another sing along, hopefully. Nazivaitsa Privatri. Yakshovine Boitsa. If you'd like, and if you're not scared, uh, if you'd like to take out your cell phone and turn on the flashlight setting. We can make <laughs> we can make a little field of stars here if you're not afraid. If it starts raining, then oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> this looks beautiful. Thank you. Вашу любов, за вашу підтримку. Слава Україні! Дуже дякую вам, Ірино. Thank you, Роман Карпішка. Thank you.
and Irina Petrik. Again, if you love the music, they have CDs available. You can stop by with Irina and, uh, and Roman and get a CD just today. The Songs from the Heart Project launched in 2019 is going strong, but the more you buy, the more you share, the better. Um, we are having our dancers take a look at the stage one more time, but I believe uh, the, the, unfortunate, uh, the unfortunate situation that we're in is uh, earlier today we had to shorten the program by one dance because of an injury, and due to the rain, it is simply too dangerous right now for us to take a chance and ruin the entire weekend. We have an entire weekend of performances. So with that in mind, and it is my job to inform you guys uh, that we're going to be uh, ending the show tonight. But with all the wonderful enthusiasm you have for uh, these wonderful dancers, I would like to take this moment and also give them the opportunity to have their class photo. This is a tradition that happens every year. And if you have the support for the Ukrainian Dance Workshop in you, I want you to make sure you welcome them uh, when they come to the stage. Give them that applause that they were hoping for uh, for their annual late night hopak. But they will be back tomorrow. And don't forget, after this performance, we'll be up on the patio for the Zababa. We will be out on the patio tomorrow afternoon with, when Slavko Palilik will be uh, emceeing the program up there. We will have a wonderful accordion fest leading into our color guard at 545. The evening and the entire day is packed. Hopefully, hopefully we've gotten rid of the bad weather in just one day, and that was, that's what's going to make tomorrow even better. So we have a wonderful evening in store tonight. I know the, the uh, food uh, facilities are still open for those looking to stop by Andri's Cafe. But right now we're going to see if some of the dancers will have the opportunity to come up on the stage. Let me see how's it going. Let's do that right now. Come on. Class picture. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of the 2023 Ukrainian Dance Workshop. <laughs> Unlike a normal graduation, they do not throw their mortar boards. They throw swords up into the air. Please watch the sky above you. As far away as California, we have dancers from Arkansas, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, and parts northeast and further. We are very grateful that they have the opportunity to come back year after year. The Roma Prima Bohochevska Dance Workshop was started decades ago and has continued the tradition here at Suyaziuka. We have on stage not only the co-artistic director and director of the camp, uh, Anya bohochevska Lonkevich, but we also have uh, the co-artistic director, Orlando Pagan. We have uh, Larissa Pagan, uh, who's been working so diligently this week with all the costumes, and as an instructor as well, we have Janos Mirkowska on staff, as well as Stefan Kalka, who was choreography and meister work with the ballet. You'll see tomorrow evening, I'm sure. Our graduating class of the 2023 Ukrainian Dance Workshop.
Everybody, reminding everybody that we will have uh, some light entertainment up on the patio this evening. The Tiki Bar will be open. My name is Andrei Dobryansky. It's been my pleasure to have a wonderful evening with you. Please come back tomorrow. Don't forget to show up a little early for the evening show. Don't wait until 6 o'clock. Get your chairs early. It will be a packed house.